so hello and welcome to this lesson on SciPy, right? Scientific Python. And this happens to be the lesson, the 15th lesson in our study of scientific computing 2, right? <coughs> so um, we'll give you a brief description of SciPy, some submodels in SciPy. We'll learn special functions in SciPy integration so using Python and optimization, right? So we'll learn later on linear algebra, yeah. So SciPy stands for Scientific Python, and it is a library of scientific algorithms for Python. So the SciPy framework builds on top of the low level NumPy framework for multi-dimensional arrays and provides a large number of high-level scientific algorithms. So we have some important sub-models or um, some topics that NumPy and SciPy covers, right? And some of the topics that SciPy covers are special functions. We use this to perform um, operations like find the gamma of a function combination, permutation and what have you then integration this helps us to do integration in python all right single integral so single integration double integration trapezoidal rule same same rule and what have you then this optimization it helps us to perform optimization in python right linear programming and what have you and we'll do all of them then we have interpolation Fourier transform signal processing linear algebra sparse argument value problems, statistics, multi-dimensional image processing, file, I.O. and what have you, okay? So, if you don't have SciPy, right, then you have to open your command prompt if you are using Windows or you open your terminal if you are using um, and the Linux operating system. You have to make sure you are connected to the internet and you type in your terminal or command prompt pip install scipy right and it will do that for you okay so i already have it it's a requirement already satisfied because i already have it okay all right so note that um okay let's first do this thing so now let's go And import SciPy, which you just did. And let's try to look at the functions and submodels that we have in SciPy. So, how many do we have? 592. There are lots, and we can learn all of them. So, we mostly learn the ones which are of interest to us because these submodules inside each of them also have several functions okay so if i should type all the a you see then several functions that we have or models that we sub models that we have in scipy right so all these are sub models and functions in scipy so we can't learn all of them we just learn the few ones which will be of interest to us okay all right so each of these submodels provides a number of functions and classes that can be used to solve problems in their respective topics. So to assess the SciPy package in a Python program, we start by importing it or the particular submodel we want to use under it. Okay, so this means from SciPy import everything. Or you can just do import SciPy. Or for instance, if you want to just do linear algebra then we import scipy.lin org as what ln so we are importing the linear algebra sub model in what scipy since that's the only thing we want to do okay so we said that we have some topics in what um the scipy so we are going to treat the special functions okay so the functions available in a special package are universal functions which follow broadcasting and automatic array looping so some of the most frequently used functions are we have cubic root function exponential function 
permutations and combinations, gamma functions and bezel functions, right? So let's perform some of the operations in Python. So combinations and permutations. So how to find combinations and permutations in Python using a scipy. So the syntax for combination is scipy.special.com then n and r so n combination r so example let us find seven combination three so the first thing we do is that we import scipy dot special because we want to use a special sub module or package in the scipy what model so or library so we import scipy dot special as sp right so we will just have to type sp dot combination by the cumb seven three and it will find seven combination three for us okay so you can do that in your um python program <coughs> and if you want to do permutation the same thing as what we did but instead of using the com we will use what pem so this will find seven permutation three for us okay then we can use python to for integration or numerical quadrature you know integration is the same as numerical quadrature right and mostly we tend to use numerical integration techniques when a function cannot be integrated analytically or is very difficult to integrate analytically and when that happens then one tends to numerical integration methods okay so scipy has a number of routines for performing numerical integration and here are some examples of the commonly used functions and their descriptions. So we have a function called quad, so quadrature, quad, and this is used for single integration. We have dbl quad, which is used for double integration, tpl quad for triple integration, n quad for n fold multiple integration, quadrature for Gaussian quadrature tolerance. So traps for trapezoidal rule and sims for sim sims rule, right? So if you want to do any of these in Python, you can use the scipy dot integrate to do that. And these are the various functions in the scipy dot integrate that you can use to do them. So we are going to learn how to use Python to solve single integral and multiple integral questions. Okay. So single integrals. So the general syntax is scipy dot integral dot quad f a b right so where f is the name of the function to be integrated and a and b are the lower and upper limits respectively so we are going to apply this concept to solve this integral so integral from 0 to 4 to s squared dx right so the first thing we'll do is i will first have to import the model right so we import scipy dot integrate as integ I think I like that name. <laughs> then we first have to what, define our function after importing the model, right? So we define our function. Our function is takes one argument that is just yes, f of x. Then we will return two times x power two. So this two x squared. That's how we define it in Python, right? So two times x power two, right? So we've defined our function. So now to get it to be inter dot quad, then our function is what f. So f, the lower limit was what zero. Upper limit is four. So zero and four, and this will give us the answer. So the answer is forty-two point six 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 seven, right? And the second value you see here is the absolute error. Okay, so. It says the quad function retains a tuple of two values in which the first number is the value of the integral and the second value is the estimate of the absolute error in the value of the integral. Okay, so this one is the value of the integral and this one is the um, absolute error. Okay, All right. Okay, I think I should practice one here for you. So. So let's see, I want us to integrate the function s squared from 1 to 5, right? So we first have to define it. So 
So our function is what s squared, right? Then for inter dot quad, then what is our function is called f. What is the I said I wanted to integrate from one to five, so the lower limit is five. The upper limit is four. the lower limit is one. The upper limit is five. And this gives us the answer. So the answer is 41.333. And the second value here is the absolute error. Okay, so yes, we can use Python to do to solve single integral questions. Okay, so now let's go to um, double integral. So the general form of the DBL quad, which is used to perform double integral in Python, is Sci pi dot integrate dot dbl quad f a b g h where f is the name of the function to be integrated a and b are the lower and upper limits of the x variable while g and h are the names of the functions that define the lower and upper limits of the y variable so we are going to solve this problem here using Python, right? So this double integral. So integral from 0 to 2, from 2 to 3, 2x plus y dy dx. And you see how interesting this is getting, right? So we first have to import type pi dot integrate as inter. Then we define our function. But here our function takes like two variables. So it's a function of x and y, right? Then we return what? 2 times x plus y. Because our function was 2 times s plus y. So we will use inter dot dbl quad. You see, with a single integral, we're using just quad. But with the double integral, we use dbl quad. Double integral, right? Then the name of our function is f. Then we come, what are the limits for the um, for our x? So you can see that our x, the limits are what? 0 and 2. The lower limit is 0, the upper limit is 2. And with the y, the lower limit is 2, the upper limit is 3. So when you do that, so 0, 2, 2, 3, it will give us the answer. So the answer is 12.0. And this is the relative error, 1.33 times 10 exponent negative 13. OK, so very fantastic. You should be practicing this. We've done double integral. So um, you can also search on the internet and you can try to do triple integral trapezoidal rule and same same one third rule using this and you can also use a scipi dot integrate method to also find solutions numerically to differential equations is this not wonderful yes it is so yeah we will end here with lesson 15 so in our next lesson which is lesson 16 we will learn linear algebra and optimization using scipy right so we learn how to solve optimization problems using scipy and right? so see you in lesson 16